Hey there, Cherry's DIY here with another review coming at you. This time with the uh, General Electric LED Plus, if that's how you pronounce it, Dusk to Dawn Lamp. Now, as you can see with this Dusk to Dawn Lamp, it's uh, no scheduling required. 8.5 watts. Uh, good for 60 watt equivalent, of course. Estimated energy cost per year, a dollar two, based on three hours per day, as we've discussed. Uh, depends on your utility. Depends on your state. Here in Texas, it's uh, 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So, there you go. And this is, it's quite a big box, actually. Um, and of course, we have our wonderful nutritional lighting facts here. And you have a description of what the LED Plus is. Uh, one bulb, one function. Which sounds so silly. <laughs> I think it sounds silly, but anyway. Uh, A19, medium base. E26, of course. As per medium base. Supposedly saves you a lot of energy. Uh, cost, and I believe it, because it is LED. And of course, uh, they got the little asterisk there for the previous claim of how much it would cost you. Either way, still better than incandescent. You don't waste so much energy just on heat. A basic description. Stays bright when the sun goes down. Simply screw it in and leave your light switch on and get all the benefits. It probably doesn't say that last part that I put in there, but it should. I have a little bit of problems with the box. As you can see, we have the three-year limited warranty, and it explains to you everything you need to do to get that to happen. Uh, if you need a replacement, if uh, you haven't decided to go with another brand or something. They usually don't like losing uh, customers, so I'm pretty sure they would do everything they could to retain you. Um, suitable for damp locations, of course, just like uh, most dusk-to-dawn lamps. They're designed for that being outside. You have all your FCC information stuff like that. And uh, that's about it for the box. A very big box for what it is. I think it could have been a smaller box and a different kind of cardboard. It's a very, it's a very nice box though, I mean, it's got a nice matte texture to it and it's kind of shiny right here with the bulb, look at that. Check that out. Yeah, you see it, right? Yeah, look at that. Anyway, let's open it up just because that's an experience by itself. I'm going to try to be gentle with it. I'm going to try and push it out. I just damaged it, but it's a really big box just for what it is. Now, we have the Getting Started Guide, which is so simple, and I think it's oversimplified. Dusk to Dawn Bulb. Dusk to Dawn Sensor. I guess that's all you'd ever really need to know. Insert it into the fixture. Turn on the switch. Leave it on. And sure enough, light can reach the sensor. It doesn't go into as much detail as the Great Value one in terms of what's good placement and what isn't. That's the, that's the real problem I have here. Because most people really don't know, you know, how these function. They just think uh, it's like an automatic kind of deal. Now just like with our Great Value lamp, we'll place it in the same, uh, the same kind of scenario. As you can see, you can see the, the sensor on that one side, but there's also another sensor on the other side, which is very good, depending on how it gets placed into a fixture. So, a very good way of uh, doing that if it's not a clear type enclosure envelope. And of course, Vital Electric does something different with ours too, and we'll get into that uh, in that review. So let's see how it reacts just based on the ambient light we have available here. Let's see if it'll go off. It could very well be that it's not sensing it now. Um, it's probably the reflection. Or maybe that image sensor just isn't getting all the ambient light into it. Okay. So as you can see, it did finally go off. It takes usually about a few minutes. I think in this case it took about two or three minutes. And I remember having that kind of issue when I first started using it. Um, it's not really an issue. I think it's just trying to gather a light, like a light profile of how many lumens are coming in and whether or not it's the time to turn off. So there it is. Let's turn it off since uh, we're done with that. 
And uh, yeah, it's not as instantaneous as like the Great Value or maybe the Fight Electric one, but yeah. Alrighty. Now again, there's no uh, real worry about CRI indexes with a, a lamp like this since it's just going to be outside to, you know, take care of lighting up any areas you need lit up. And uh, let's take a look at it, just how it functions to see that color, that 2700K that it has. Quite bright. Quite bright. I would say that does definitely come out to about 800 lumens. As far as my eyes from like a foot and a half away can tell. <laughs> let's take a let's take a gander at this, and we can see the flickering. It's definitely got some going on. Again, not a huge concern because uh, I mean uh, I know you're gonna probably spend some time outside, maybe you know, with a light like this, maybe in your backyard or or wherever you happen to be, maybe. But uh, I, I think as long as you're not just just not looking at the light, it shouldn't be a problem. But most of the time these are just used for just lighting up an area at night. So, I think pretty good. I was on for a little longer than it should have been, but that's alright. Um, a very good bulb from GE. I think, uh, I think their advertising could use a little work. Maybe a smaller box. I don't think there necessarily needs to be such a big box just for one lonely little light bulb. And just a little more communication on the specifics of... Uh, how you should install a lamp like this, where to install one, and how to go about it maybe. But all in all, it is a good bulb, even if it does take a little bit of time to respond to the uh, changes in the uh, lumen output of the sun, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, for the price that I got it at, which I will put right here in that little caption title, pretty good buy. Because I got it from Amazon and it just happened to be on sale that day. So uh, that's what we got. And uh, thank you for watching the review. Have a great day.